This is just a quick review of a new keyboard video monitor KVM switch I'm just trying out. It's a Belkin Flip Switch 2. It's been out for quite a few years but the reason why I wanted to get one now was because um, I'm running a, a Macintosh computer and a PC at the same time and I want to be able to switch both computers using one uh, mouse, that's my trackball and keyboard. And I had an extra complication in the fact that I wanted to use a mechanical keyboard um, in the form of a ducky uh, mechanical keyboard, which is absolutely great. It's got special function keys, such as multimedia keys at the top of the keyboard here, and as you can see it grows as well, LEDs. So uh, I was a bit worried about choosing the right switch so that I could use things like the function keys on the keyboard. Um, if you use certain types types of keyboard video monitor switch um, you'll know that they some switches emulate a keyboard for the computer so that when you switch between computers um, the computer doesn't immediately uh, notice that a keyboard's been lost and when you again connect to that computer the emulator kicks in so that the whole time basically so that you don't get the new hardware wizard in Windows that's great but if you want to have things like um, you know, use multimedia keys on a keyboard, you don't want that because the emulator that most switches have got built into them only emulate a very basic keyboard. Um, so uh, the way that I think that they work is that's kind of acts as a middleman for the keyboard and the mouse. So um, it picks up signals from the keyboard, it then kind of piggybacks it and passes it on as if it, it itself was a keyboard and that's not what I wanted so luckily enough I've tried this out and I can confirm that this one works great um, it doesn't have an emulator built into it that does mean again that when you uh, disconnect from one computer and connect to another um, you have a few seconds downtime because this new hardware Windsor does open up so let me just demonstrate what that means exactly I don't know if you can hear um, this when I when I press this button here this is how you switch between them so at the moment I've got it so that the uh, the keyboard's controlling my computer over here I don't think it's very evident on the video I'm afraid it's controlling this screen over here which is my PC when I now move it to the Macintosh so if I press this button You hear there that the Windows machine just uh, sw swapped over and it kind of made that dudu USB noise. And now I can control the Macintosh. That's great, yeah, controlling that, that's fine. And the Macintosh is really quick at picking it up actually, that's rather a good thing. And again, the multimedia keys work just fine. Um, let me see what I can do. Um, again, I that's it, that's me controlling the keyboard there, that's fine. And again, to switch back, if I do this, and I get over here on the on the PC side, I get like a duh -duh, new hardware. It was, again, but only a second later, and I can control the PC from the same mouse. So if you're looking for a, for a cheap way, KVM, that keeps the multimedia keys, I recommend this switch. It comes with nice long cables, and it's got this rather nice button here so I'm going to tend to kind of hide this behind the computer and just have this on my table um, we're looking at two USB inputs into it um, on the back it, it indicates a mouse connection and a keyboard but I've tried it the other way around and it works fine so um, you know, don't, don't need to worry about that if you're just perhaps uh, piggybacking on, on to the keyboard or something like that um, it doesn't need any extra power supply, it takes the charge from the USB socket. So for my setup that seems to be working fine. I highly recommend it.